Yeah. I think yours has um, built a fast hero once again. Yes, he has. Yeah. And, yeah, they <laughs> probably... Wow, this is a nice, interesting idea here with the Ancient of War helping uh, with the creep. Maybe even using the red spot or what. I don't know what, what spawns there. Yeah, I me mean, neither, but with militia support and the Ancient of War... No, oh, no, he's taking the laboratory. Okay. That's... But it's still a huge spot, isn't it? Yeah, with two Berserkers, yeah. plus the Centaur, this is uh, yes. absolutely good. Yeah, and he's focusing the Shadow Priest first. I think when there's two Shadow Priests, it's a good idea, probably. So, yeah. what are the other players doing? They don't creep at all. It's almost like they smell what's going on here. I feel like uh, Only of Agent Hanks. of War and Militias could creep absolutely everything together. Yeah, me too. Yeah, but now we have the harassment commencing by Foggy and um, Orc Worker. And this is always pretty strong on its own, wow. I guess. Already level 2 and a third on the Arc Mage. Zero experience on the Demon Hunters, so um, that's of course resulting in a very early level 3 Archmage. Nice strategy, so they they actually trained a lot and prepared some tactics for for different maps. Yes, they have. They have actually played a lot as well, I guess. I think they have like 20, 30 games already. And uh, yeah, I like it. Um, this could actually get them to the victory. I don't know how much Orc Worker and Foggy train. Some people just, you know, play together. I think with Human Knight, if you actually you have to train a little bit. Because, yeah, because um, yeah. Orc Night F is so intuitive. Thank you very much, Jonas. Nice try for subscribing. Oh, thank nice you, nice try. It's so nice. The good old ESL Radio Dota caster. Yeah, I remember that. You can watch his videos at uh, youtube.com slash Raute Schlacher. So yeah, I think he also has a Twitch channel called RS ah. Nice Try. Ah, that is true. I think. That is absolutely correct. Awesome. So tier two techs going on for yours and roll. Um, the for foggy and worker as well. So lots of little skirmishes around the map as it seems, but nothing nothing fancy so far. Yeah, some footies being chased. I think I think yours um, did a good job there with you know getting this kind of big camp at the very early game yeah. level 3 will be very important there and we have Orc Worker creeping the goblin version now yeah but he didn't get the boots because uh, Yoss stole them uh, stole them from him that's of course uh, very nice for running away but oh class plus 6 here on the ba uh, on the BM very nice item and Foggy is harassing a bit Killing the shop, nice timing for him. But of course, uh, it's not that good as killing tier 2 units and stuff. The timing for Roland Yoss pushes a little off here as well, I think. And yeah, the moon well of Foggy now gets attacked once again. That's a good timing once again because Foggy will have to rebuild it once again for uh, second hero. Yeah, the first it, one is down, the second one could fall as well, so this uh, time was definitely not off, but absolutely correct to do so. He is supply stuck right now, Roll has to be careful with his DH, maybe pulling the town portal right away! Oh no, he let him die, it's only level 1. Um, I did get excited for no reason. <laughs> yeah, well, if it... Um well, he will have a tavern second hero anyway, so it doesn't play a big yeah, role. exactly. Nice analysis once again by Philly, and now Jonathan problems. He has to TP out right away, yeah, with a level 2 and a third Archmage. That's no, uh, no discussion here. But Foggy is in huge problems now. Tier 2 reached, um, but no, uh, not being able to build a second hero because he's supply stuck. He has to build the two engines of law. Plus he has to build at least two moon wells. That's a lot of gold. He yeah, needs to three now for the blade master of Orc Worker. Yeah, with that one, with that one huntress. Yeah. 
Yeah, and then the middle. Ah, he rebuilt them here. Foggy. Oh, what? Who? Who? What? He rebuilt the moon worlds. Ah. In between the two bases. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, and we have the second hero now for Foggy as well, and for yeah, everybody now has a second hero here. Oh, the Arc Mage is a huge problem. Mountain King not there to uh, bolt something. Nice catch by f um, by Foggy and Orc Worker. Maybe the Naga is dying as well. Is there another Hex? I think he's out of range. No Ensnare yet. But uh, yeah, this Arc Mage loss, man. This yeah, that wasn't cool. No, not for yours and roll. Oh, the Naga. The Naga is dying as well with a mana burn kill. Foggy and Orc Worker on a roll. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, roll. In fact, I I felt like he should have escaped a bit earlier there. I have started to follow the Naga a bit late here to judge it uh, accurately, actually, I guess. But, you know, now we have the Night Elf trying to defend really hard, and now there's a town portal with a second hero, the Mountain King, which is 350 gold with militias. And now Roll has to DP out itself. That's 700 gold for the human Night Elf team now. Militias, are they gonna help enough or not? We have no Archmage because it just had died. And then we have the Naga revived here. Mountain King having a huge problem. I think that the Mountain King dying would be enough here. What is happening with the footman and the rifleman? They just follow this one raider. Naga gonna fall as well. So this is a huge problem and probably the GG for the Russian German team. They are completely falling apart in this fight. Lost almost every hero. Only the Demon Hunter survives this, but I think uh, there's, there's, it, it's not in his might to avenge his friends. Everything is kind of low, but uh, I know how to deal. Uh, I think they know how to deal with the situation. Yeah, Town Portal now. Demon Hunter stays alive. Uh, this is looking very, very grim. And it all began with the loss of the Archmage, which, which was completely unnecessary. 30, uh, 40, 34 supply here, 39, okay, it's not that much. But, okay, su su supply-wise, they're still in the game. Uh, yeah, it was unnecessary AM loss. Um, if you have in mind that he, they only had three heroes versus four heroes in this particular situation, because the Mountain wasn't there uh, yet, and the, the Archmage didn't have any TP because he had to town portal out before. Uh, in result of uh, killing those two moon worlds. So, yeah. <laughs> well, let's see, it's not over yet. No, especially in 2 and 2, one great fight with one more scroll of healing or something can, can win you everything. Mana Stone uh, for the Mountain King and Scourge Bone Chimes for the Orc and a Night Elf combo. Having bears now would be the dream, but. Yeah, it's... there would be imbalance. It's now it's still kind of good for the Orc player, yeah. but not too good. It's cool for the Blade Master and the Demon Hunter as well, though. True. Lots and lots of hit points coming back. So, supply check. 50 food for Foggy, 47 for Orc Worker, yours on 41, and roll on 47. Okay, it's kind of equal. Yeah. Everything is okay. I guess their goal is now to creep their heroes to level 3. To prepare for the next fight, to buy as many scrolls of healing as they can, and then uh, try to turn this around. Shadowhunter is not level three either yet, for Green Boy, of course. Um, so yeah, let's see. I always feel like the Shadowhunter is a bit too strong here. Has to be burned really uh, persistently. Yeah, but the problem is the S H is always positioned very defensively. So it's hard mm. to get there. End of mana stealing. So a lot of mana for the Mountain King incoming. He needs to use those to, to burn. He has to take a little risk, I guess, to take the SH out of the game, mana wise. Yeah. But well, let's uh, see. Yeah, we, we will have a next fight pretty soon, I feel, as yeah, both. both worker. Hmm? I was just about to say that both players. Uh, Went both teams. over the 50 foot mark. Uh, now the both players of uh, the Foggy Orc Worker team. Ah, yeah. Yeah, true, yeah. 
yeah, yours and Roll know that they will have to save up some money to stand a chance in the next fight. I feel like yours should build another farm, which he doesn't yet. I don't... I think they should... Uh, they cannot get to the shop, so they should just, you know, build units. Yeah. It's, it's important now. But they look at the units. inventories, man. There's one heal scroll, two heal scrolls for the orange team. Now, they've, now they're going over 50 pop. I guess they misread the situation here and think that their opponents aren't on 50 food either. And now we have militia support entering the fight and next... Run, first grunt is going down for Orc Worker, but you know, you're still not building any units, he's still under under 50 supply, 650 gold, and this cannot work, I tell you. Yeah, this is almost impossible to win, maybe with Hero Focus, they tried on the Demon Hunter, but he's too strong with the, with the Potion of Invulnerability. A few Raiders going down, so I think the position is pretty okay for yours and Roll, but is it enough? I don't think so, Naga is down again, Hex and Blade Master combo too strong. And they'll finish this off. The Demon Hunter of Roll is dying as well. No healing, no staff, no nothing but a block from the Dryads. How awesome was that? But doesn't save the day for them. GG, well played by Roll and Yaw. So Foggy and Orcworker advance to the next round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. And you yawn. Um.